I didn't know my happy planner obsession was this vast um, or that I've accumulated this many over the years. Actually, this isn't even all of them. Um, for 2020, I have a mini happy planner and um, I've had one before that, but a uh, mini one, but I took it apart and reused it. So, um, this doesn't include those two minis or, um, or my 2021 Happy Planner that I'm starting. You'll see that in another video. So, let's do a little flip through of my previous Happy Planners. I'm obsessed with this system. Astral themed ones and the magic themed ones. Um, this one was from 2018 actually and i used it as my very first um moon planner moon phase planner um i put a lot of sigils and everything in there little punk people i was and still am super obsessed it's a 13 year old kid that does these this artwork and it's absolutely amazing so i used it kind of like a book of shadows kind of um moon planner and i really like went in depth with it like the colors were from okay the sun is in earth you know fire water air you know and check the moon phases and everything i really went big with it that first year that i was doing it um more little punk people and i also have a groove book where i can print out all kinds of pictures for like 3.99 a month so that was really cool I like I like the design I like the way I designed this one um, I really went big on this one I'm pretty proud of it of course I was very very new to really following my magical path so I was excited <laughs> So, let me just do a quick, more punk people. Let me just do a quick little, so you can get an idea. I'm very proud of this. Actually, I need to look back through this more often. I would put uh, quotes that I liked. I was serious about the washi tape in 2018. Yeah, I want to I wanna get on this level again. Um, I found that when I use it more as a book of shadows, grimoire, moon planner, anything magical, that I am, of course, more inspired to use it. Whereas if I just use it as like a daily planner, eh, that's not inspiring to me. Mundane does not. <laughs> Oh, I was still taking belly dance. Nice. So anything that I can infuse with magic becomes that much more useful to me. So I did. And I'm learning to do that in all aspects of my life. So anyway, okay. So that was... Oh, wait. Got some... I'm just looking at all this for the first time in a long time. So I'm pretty interested. Oh, spells, tarot journal, healing. Hey, my little doodles. Wow, I was on it. Ooh, tarot journal. Y'all, I forgot I did all this. It is so important to go back and look through all your notebooks and stuff. Nice. Okay, well, cool. All right, so that was 2018. Love it. Oh, yes. My Flower of Life sticker. All right, let's see what's next. I love this one. I love the stripes and the simplicity of it. The pink, really nice. Um, I don't remember what year this was, but I was going for a, I think it's 2017. Had to be. But I think I was going for a just kind of hippie, 
like free spirit. Ooh, I was doing color coding and all kinds of fancy stuff. Yeah, this was either, it had to be 2017 or maybe earlier because I was engaged. I got married in 2017. Oh, and I included my home planner, free spirit stuff. Yeah, this is when I was trying out like the different monthly bills and all that boring stuff, which I quit doing because it's boring and it's just hard to infuse magic into it. So, but yeah. <laughs> oh, it was while I was still in school, so. I really love that. So I made this one like really colorful. It's really more like a, a memory planner, which is what I really love using it for. Just all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I like this. Oh, I was serious. I think this was my first ever. Yeah, okay, so the Mason twins. They were one. Yep. So it's so fun to memory plan and look back. Look back on your life like this. So this was a cool one. This one was super colorful. I really had fun with this one. I want to get back into it. Oh, puppy kisses. <laughs> Sweet, my friend, Jenny. Yep, and it was before I started my really witchy, kind of more pagan, pagan-esque kind of lifestyle. Which I still love Jesus and everything, but my views have changed a lot. My world views have changed. Oh, look at my husband. He was just my fiance back then. Hmm. It's really fun to look back. Some pages. <laughs> you go through all that work with washi tape and then you don't really end up using them. <laughs> so anyway, that one I love. It's so full it falls apart. So these other two were the classic size. Then I tried with the uh, large. Is that the same? Kind of similar. No nope, different designs, but still celestial and magical. So this was the large, and I tried using it. Big sticker I made. I tried using it as my moon phase planner, and this was 2019. Let's see, I kept up with the um, rituals and the moons and all of that. This is back when we uh, had our coven, so I kept up with coven stuff. Honor the cycles of the moon. Non-attachment. I didn't really get into all the um, washi tape and stuff with this one. I tried to keep it more more personal. I did some washi tape. I feel like I didn't really spend as much time with my planner in 2019. I've been so busy with work. It's been overwhelming me. But I really miss it. It's my goal in 2021 to really get back into it like I did that first year. I mean, I don't want to spend a ton of money, but I want to really just infuse myself. with this particular brand of magic. Cause it's so, it's so good to come back and, and look at your life and how you've progressed. So that was 2019, no sticker on the back. All right, let's see what's next. Then I have this one. Oh, this was my teaching. I'll also get a um, teaching happy planner every year. Some random stuff in here. Oh, 
kids' names. I have to edit that out. So yeah, I didn't really. I mean, this is more for like practical use, the teacher planner stuff. There's where all my stuff went. <laughs> so yeah, I just this this format is just really good for all kinds of things: notebooks, teacher planners, magical planners, all the planners. Another teacher planner. Tried getting more into it this year, that year, um, with the washi tape and making it cute. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, apparently. But the last couple of years, I've not, I bought a teacher happy planner, but I just haven't really used it. My energy has been so drained. That's why I have so many happy planners. It's from the teaching. So yeah, that's a good way to keep up with work. And I have this one. Which I think I use this as a memory planner. And I had bought so much freaking adorable things to put in my planner. Look at that. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. So I'd ordered all this and spent all that money and everything. And then like I lost my planner. <laughs> Me and my husband on our <laughs> honeymoon. I lost my planner in my husband's uh, media room. This was 2017, the year we got married. And um, I lost it for like over half the year. And so wasn't able to really fill it up the way I wanted. So I feel like it was such a waste, this big old large size happy planner. And I didn't really use it the way I intended to. Look at my crazy mom. <laughs> Me at the beach. I got a plant. Puppies. So, yeah, that's pretty sad. I went through all that trouble, got it all ready, and then lost it, and never used it. But, you know, live and learn. I guess I can always go back and, like, write in some quotes and everything. So, those are all my past happy planners. Not including my teacher planner I have for this year, and my little 2020 mini one that I'm still kind of halfway using and that one mini one that I incorporated into other things and my 2021. So I just really love the happy planner system. I'm always at a loss as to whether I should keep them intact or reuse the stuff, you know, like I could use all these to create new planners. But then all the memories inside, what would I do with them? You know, I don't know. I'm cheap. I don't want to just waste the materials. But anyway, and of course, they do take up a lot of space, you know. So, oh, well, I think I'm going to go vacuum my rug now. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Bye.